Hey Team South, my name is Jess Sims. And I'm Selena Watkins. Today, we're going to do a 35 minute core crusher workout with you. Yes, and we're gonna be with you along the whole way. We're gonna demo everything, do everything with you. So what you have to look forward to, a four minute warm up. I will do four different movements, two times through, 30 seconds each. Then we'll go into a six station um, circuit. So you'll have six different movements. Some will be on the right side of the body, some on the left. 45 seconds each with just a 15 second rest in between. We'll do that three times, but don't worry, we'll give you a longer rest in between each of the rounds before we burn it out with a chipper. We'll talk all about that once we get there. So are we ready, Selena? We are ready. All right, let's do this, guys. We're gonna start with our warm up. We have seal jacks in three, two, and one, right here. So you want your arms to go on top and below, and your feet go in front and behind. Whew, you wanna open up the chest, just wake up the whole body here. Good, 15 more seconds. It's just a nice little change up from a traditional jumping jack. Yeah, it gets that heart rate go up a bit, right? Feels good. Good. Nice, guys. We're gonna go into a squat with a reverse lunge in three, two, and one. So one deep squat here. You're gonna give us a reverse lunge on the right side. One deep squat, reverse lunge on the left. I'm gonna give you that side profile here just to show you. You wanna make sure that you have Super, super low squat and a 90 degree angle with both of your legs for each of your lunges. Good. 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna go into our Frankensteins. Get excited. In five. I'm excited. Four, three, two, and one. So here, we're gonna wake up those hamstrings. Woo! Good yes. Whoo, I know. You wanna bring your belly button into your spine because this also wakes up your core. Good. Try to keep those legs as straight as you can. Kick them up as high as you can halfway through. Whew. Feeling it. Flexing through that heel. Yes, all right guys. We're gonna finish the first round with sit-ups in three, two, and one. Here we go, butterfly position. Your palms are going to go behind your head all the way up, touch in front of your toes. Good, so big exhale as you come up. Inhale as you lower. Good, halfway there, 15 seconds. We're gonna go back to the top with those seal jacks. Round two coming up. Good, almost there in five, four, three, two, and one. All the way back up. Yes, round two here, seal jacks. All right, so now the blood's flowing, you should feel good now. I'm already sweating. Yeah. <laughs> good. Start to control your breath as you do these seal jacks. Nice. 15 more seconds. You go back to that squat. I want a deeper, deeper squat this time. So your butt's gonna go below the knee crease here. Here we go in five, four, three, two, and one. Deep squat with that reverse lunge. Whew. Definitely waking up those legs. Getting that booty down. So low. Good team. You have 15 more seconds. Nice and low. See if you can get that knee down all the way. Yes. Good, we're gonna go back to those Frankensteins in five, four, three, two, and one. Big kicks here. Yes. Point the toes up towards the ceiling. Good. Oh, I'm feeling this. Feels good in the hamstrings. Good, guys. About halfway there. Exhale as you kick, inhale as you lower. Last 10. We're gonna finish with those sit-ups, keep that core alive in five, four, three, two, and one. Get down. Let's do it. All the way up. Yes. Our first exercise coming up is for the core, so it's super important that we wake it up here. Good, 15 seconds. So close. How are you doing, Selena? Doing really good. Good. Final five, four, three, two, and time. Awesome. All right, let's do it. All right. Grab Hope a quick you guys sip are of ready. water if you need it. Otherwise, we're just gonna shake it out. 
We're going to get started with our first move, team. So as we mentioned before, 45 seconds of work. We'll have 15 seconds to rest, recover, and transition to the next move. All right, so we're going to start off with a hollow hold. This is definitely an advanced core um, skill that works the entire core, your obliques, lower, upper, and your lower back. So are we ready? Yeah, let's, let's do, it. do it. Starting off in three, two, and one. So the key here, guys, is making sure that there's no space below your lower back. So everything should be pushing down. Belly button in, squeeze your quads, squeeze your butt, biceps by the ears. Good, squeeze, 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 squeeze. 30 seconds. Now, you'll notice Selena's looking up. She's looking straight away so that she's protecting her neck. She's also making sure that she's lifting here by squeezing those quads and her glutes, even though we can't see it. You're squeezing it, I know you are. Squeezing. Now, before you're tempted to drop, bend one knee. There we go, bend one knee in or bend both in. Final 10 seconds, whatever you do, don't drop. Excellent, Selena, hold it. So close in five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, 15 seconds. All right, let's do it. All oh, these mountain climbers are going to be killer. Yes, mountain climbers are up next, guys. So this is definitely still core intensive, but it's also going to get that heart rate up. Five, four, three, two, one. That's set up here. Shoulders over the wrist. You bring one knee into the chest at a time. Now, we don't want to go too fast and be too bouncy. You want it to be nice and controlled. Sometimes we make the mistake of pushing away, but that's put, that puts a lot of pressure on your shoulders, so make sure your shoulders are right on top of the wrist, your butt is nice and low. If you do need to slow it down, slow it down here. There's nothing wrong with that. You take this workout at your own pace. Awesome, we already have only about 15 seconds. Let's try to bring our knee closer towards our chest. Yeah, so definitely, definitely a core intensive exercise, so really, really suck that belly button in, bring it as close to the spine as you can. Hollow it out, beautiful Selena. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome Ooh. job. <sighs> Shake it out. All right, these legs. Yes, in 10 ready. seconds, we go into a stationary lunge. We're gonna have the right knee forward. Stationary means we're not moving. In five, four, three, two, one. You can have your hands on your hips or keep them behind your head to open up your chest. Try to squeeze your glutes when you come to the top of that lunge. Yes, squeeze. squeeze at the top, lower back down. Your back knee should tap the floor if you can get that low. Now, remember, we're always about form and safety, so we'd much rather you go slower to lower than to only come a little bit way down, all right? So think about that depth all the way down. Good, squeeze at the top. Beautiful, driving through that front heel to stand up. We only have 15 more seconds, great job. Good. Final 10 seconds, you got it. Breathe it out. We're done in five, four, three, two, and time. Awesome, Boom. shake them out. Now we just do the other side. That's it. Easy work, we gotta balance it out. <laughs> All right, so that left leg is going to be forward. Again, choose your hand placement on your hips behind the head in three, two, and one. Good, even if you wanna switch that hand placement, Halfway through, if you start to feel your chest dropping a bit, make sure you keep that up nice and upright. On the way up is when you're really thinking about pressing into that front heel. Yes. Awesome. Now, if you happen to have a set of weights and you wanted to make this more advanced, you could also hold a set of dumbbells or, to, or whatever other weights you have down at your side. That makes it obviously much harder, right? Mm -hmm. Adding that weight here, good. Keeping that chest up. 15 seconds. It's a great place to multitask as well. Bicep curls. Yes. Or shoulder press. Awesome. Final few seconds. We got it. In five, four, three. Get one more. Two and one. Yeah, girl. Woo. Awesome. So, guess what? We only have two more things left. We have oblique tuck ups. So, we'll start on this side, left side. We always start on the right. We can even it out. In five, four, three, two, and one, so you want your knees to be slightly bent, depending on your mobility. If you wanna keep them straighter, that's definitely more advanced here. You bend them in, meeting the elbow. You basically wanna balance on that glute here. The more that you do that, the more difficult and challenging this will be. Try to exhale at the top, inhale at the bottom. Yes. Awesome, and slow and controlled. Remember, if we start going too fast, we cut the movement a little bit short, and we don't get that full extension and flexion. Awesome. Hello, side body. <laughs> super, super important. 
If you need to modify that down, you can really press your palm into the floor here to help get that balance. Nice, final seconds in five, four, three, two, and one. Rest, excellent yes. job. Whew, other side, gotta balance it out, right? Getting a nice little stretch in between. You guys ready? Here we go. In five, four, three, two, and one. Crunch it up. Good, try to keep those knees together the whole time. Good, remember you can always come up here too if you need to balance a little bit more. Take this at your own level. We're all at different places. Our bodies need something different on every day. Beautiful, Selena. Thank you, darling. Elbow all the way up to the leg. Awesome, pressing that right hand into the floor. Big exhale as she crunches in and then inhales as she lowers. Guess what, come on, this is the last 15 seconds before we rest for 90. Come on, so This close. is gonna feel great by set number three. <laughs> yes. You weren't lying about the core crusher. That's it. In five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo! Yeah, girl. Awesome job. Go ahead and Got grab some, some water. Cheers. <laughs> grab your towel and hydrate, all right? Round one is done. Now, round two. We know what to expect. We know what our favorite and least favorite skills are out of the circuit. So push yourself where you think that you can go a little bit harder. And maybe if there's a skill that's more challenging, you feel something a little bit weaker, you know, go a little bit slower, really focus on your form. We still have one minute. It's a long time. <laughs> yes. What's your favorite exercise? <sighs> I love hollow holds, but the oblique tuck-ups feel really good. Yeah. And we're the same today. Oh, <laughs> love it. Awesome. Yeah, Halfway absolutely. through, guys, 45 more seconds. You know, we often focus on the front part of our abdominals, so it's really good yes. to focus on our side body. Yes. Have some love, some attention. Yep, definitely need it. And take these last 30 seconds, guys. Don't try to start early. You wanna make sure that you let your body come back down so you can push yourself for the second and third rounds. Awesome. About 20 seconds, just roll out whatever feels a little tight. We're going back to that hollow hold. Whew, starting off with that core crusher and finishing with core. 15 seconds. All right, let's find our focus. Yes. All right, guys. We want to look like a bananas here. In five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Hollow hold here. Yes. I love this because, again, it's definitely core intensive, but you got to use the legs. You got to squeeze your butt to help keep yourself raised. Now, another modification before you bend the knees, you can also bring the hands by your legs. And then one step lower and then one step lower. So if you're here, there's nothing wrong with this, guys. We're working the same muscles, and then eventually we can progress. Awesome, last 20 seconds. Good. Stay here, stay here, I know. Burn so good. Burn so good. <laughs> Shaking is a good sign. Last 10. Whew. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, and one, rest. Woo. Awesome, flip Let's it on flip. over for those mountain climbers. Again, take your time for these. Spread your fingertips wide and get a strong base. Wrist right underneath your shoulders. Yes, here we go in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Get that heart rate up just a bit. Focusing on that core. Awesome. And again, slow it down if you need to and then speed it back up when you're ready. Awesome. 25 more seconds. Beautiful form, Selena's butt is nice and low, but her hips are not dropping, so that means that her core is definitely engaged still. Absolutely. Awesome, <laughs> you're feeling it. And even the arms stabilizing the chest with being in that plank position, super, super important. 10 more seconds, come on. Sprint it out, we got it. So close. In five, four, three, Two, and one. Whew. Yes. All right. Stationary lunges. Let's get it. 10 seconds. We're going to start with that right foot forward. Try to take a big step so you have space for the down. Yes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. If you couldn't quite get your back knee to the floor in the first round, try a little bit more this one. Go a little bit slower if you need to. Nice. Choose that hand placement. Good. 
Chest is up, beautiful. Thinking awesome. about posture as well. Think yes. of the energy through the crown of your head. Even when you're coming down, your energy is still lifting up. Beautiful. So close, guys. Last 20. Drive through that front heel. This is also super great. If you suffer from any knee pain, you're trying to strengthen your quads and your hamstrings, this is really great because it's stationary. You're not moving forwards or backwards, right? Good. In five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Awesome. Awesome. Let's do the other side. Other side. Left leg forward. Big step back. Squeezing that right glute. In five, four, three, two, and one. Yes. Chest is up. Wheeze it. Yep. <laughs> round two, we're definitely feeling it. It's definitely not round one anymore. <laughs> Down and up. Yes. A killer playlist would be perfect right now, right? So Go to good. the beat all the way down, all the way up. Good. What kind of music do you seconds. like? What'd you say? What kind of music do you like to work out to? Ooh, everything. Hip hop, reggae, of Ooh. all that stuff. Yes. Dance hall just like you, right? Yes. Good, guys. Come on, last 10 seconds. There's also a lot of really good EDM out there. Yes, there is. Good. Finish strong in five, four, three, two, and one. Yes. Ooh. Awesome job, guys. <sighs> Almost there. Yep, two more movements, and then we have that 90 second rest. So really push yourself on these oblique tuck ups. Here we go in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do it. Now, try to make sure that your feet are hovering over the floor. Try not to put them down, because then you'll lose that tension and that engagement in your core. Whew. Good, make sure you're on that left glute. You might be a little bit onto your lower back, that's cool too. You just don't wanna be completely flat on your back the whole time. Awesome. So close, team. We have 15 seconds. Good. Last 10, fight for it. You gotta feel good about that rest coming up. In five, four, three, Two, Get one more in. And one, yes. Yeah. Whew. You always want to try to get that last rep in because that's where the change is, not the first couple reps. All right, other side, and then we are done with the second round. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do it. Whew. Awesome, guys. Stay Good. strong. Stay get with to that it. tight ball. <laughs> yes. Awesome job. Good. Now, Selena, do you find yourself pushing your right palm into the floor to stabilize? Yeah, I have my fingertips spread wide, and it's a strong base. Awesome. Now, remember, if you need to pause for a second, pause, but then get right back into it. Come on. We're going to push through the last 10 seconds. You got it? So close. We got that rest in five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, Woo! guys. Awesome job. Sip. Really, really good. One more round. One more. Third time's a charm. Yes. Hydrate. Now, form is crucial and in all rounds, really, but especially the third round, because the third round is the most mental round. So you're going to start thinking, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I might not want to do this anymore. But you got to push through. So turn your brain off. Activate your body, let it take over, and have fun with this last round, okay? Have fun, that's most important. Yes. Have fun with it. <sighs> Do it Movement with a friend. Movement is supposed to be fun. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, 50 seconds. Grab any last minute water, towel off, change the song, whatever you need to do. <laughs> like a <new> playlist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One more hollow hold. It's like a check about 30 checklist. seconds. Checklist, every single movement we're gonna be finished with here. Ah, let's stretch it out. We got this team. Still have about 20 seconds, you guys. All right, 15. Shrug out your shoulders a bit. A couple deep inhales, big exhales. 10 seconds, team. We're gonna finish strong. We have five. You got this, guys. Four, 
three, two, and one. Let's do this. Yep. <sighs> feeling it, feeling it. We got it though. Come on. Really, really make sure that that lower back is glued to the floor. We don't want it to creep up. Nice stabilization. Excellent. 30 you, seconds, you guys. You got it. Mind over matter. We got this. We're in it together. Hold tight. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the butt, squeeze the quads. You got it. We have 15 seconds. That's it. Come on, push through. So close. Tremble. All those little things. I know. Last 10 seconds. Come on. You got it. You got it. Yup. Bend the knee before you drop. Hold it for five, four, three, two, and drop. Oh my gosh. Done. <laughs> Very happy to be done with that. 10 seconds. Awesome, Same with guys. these mountain climbers. Really focus. Yep. You pick your pace. Here we go. In three, two, and one. I'm going to start off a little bit slower here. Good. So as I always say, I use planks, mountain climbers as an opportunity to just, you know, relax everything that's happening in my brain, maybe close my eyes, you know, see what works for you. Yes, 25 seconds. We're going to get off our core for a little bit. Come on, push through here. Last 15 seconds. Shoulders right on top of the wrist. Stay focused on that form. Good, last 10. Come on, we got it, we got it. We're done in five, four, three, two, and one. Yes. Very happy to be done with those. Yes. <laughs> Mountain climbers are killers. They're silent they killers, right? Secret killers. Yes. Right foot forward, we have those stationary lunges in five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Nice. Remember to squeeze. When in doubt, squeeze everything. That's exactly <laughs> it. When in doubt, engage your core. Keep your chest up, back flat. Excellent. Squeeze the When booty. in doubt, squeeze everything. <laughs> 25 more seconds. Tap it. Good, last 15. So close. Now, one tip, make sure that your front knee doesn't ever pass your toe. If that happens, we're gonna put too much pressure on that knee. So make sure it's directly on top of the heel. Finish strong, a few more in three, two, and one. Awesome. Yeah. Shake it one out. One more side, just one more side. That's it. <laughs> so close, we're halfway through. In five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Same rules apply. Squeeze everything. Keep the core engaged. Chest is up. Remember, you're pressing into that front heel as you stand. Yes. Oh, yeah. Come through quads. I feel it. I feel it. You got it. Awesome, Selena. Squeezing the booty. If you can't see it at home, I can see it. It's happening. It's happening. Shaping and toning those beautiful <laughs> legs and derrieres. Yes. Keep that belly button in towards the spine. We are approaching that 10 second mark. Come on, we got it. Last few. Breathe, make sure you exhale as you stand. Five, four, three, two, and time. Two more, come on. Oblique tuck ups. 10 seconds. We got it. This is kind of like a trick. It seems like we're gonna take a nap, but we're not. Here we go in three, Two and one, knees in. It's definitely not nap time, not yet. <laughs> nope. But we do have a 90 second rest coming in, less than 90 seconds now. Good, really bend those knees in. Nice. 25 seconds. If you need to hold it, hold it here for a second. Get right back into it. You need to drop, there's nothing wrong with that either. Just make sure you don't stop. Last 15. Good. 10 seconds, come on. You got ladies. it. So close. Good, in five, four, three, two, and one. Yes. Great job. Whew. Last one. Last 45 seconds, come on. Home stretch. 90 second rest coming up. 
five, four, three, two, let's do it. Yes. Power through this last set. Even it out. Push just as hard as you did on that other side. Good. Yes. 25 seconds, come on. So close. 20 seconds. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Final 10, come on. So close. So close. Here we go. Woo, five yep. seconds. Five, four, three, two, and time. <sighs> time. Yes. <sighs> Drink Rest. some water. You earned, you earned that. Definitely earned that. Oh, yes, obliques. Awesome job, but we're not done. Just hydrate and towel off. Okay, last thing. We have four different exercises. It's called a chipper. So we're going to chip away at different rep schemes for these four different exercises, and we have a four minute cap to get it done. You don't have to sprint through it, but you do wanna move quickly because we wanna finish, right? So the movements we have, 40 mountain climbers, single count, 30 jumping lunges, single count. That's gonna be brutal. I already know it's gonna be my least favorite. Um, 20 shoulder taps, single count, and then 10 half burpees where you start with your chest on the floor and you'll jump your feet wide outside your hands. When you're done with that, if you finish with some time, even if it's 10 seconds, you're gonna hold a plank on your forearms. All right, so you have 30 more seconds here to hydrate, grab anything last minute that you need. 40, 30, 20, 10, hold a forearm plank when you're done. So stay in the game too, keep your mind present. We're almost there, but you're not there yet, so really stay in the game for these. And remember, it's a burnout. It's supposed to feel hard, it's supposed to be tough. We have 10 seconds and we're gonna start with those 40 mountain climbers. We ready? Ready. Let's do it guys. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. 10, 20, 30, 40, excellent, jumping lunges when you're done. Remember, go at your own pace, single count, two. If these are ever too much, team, you can also give us reverse lunges, 10. 20, 10 more. I'm gonna shake out my legs for a second. Get into the plank shoulder taps, 20 single count. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Woo! Eighteen butt down. Oh, Twenty. Party. Yes. Woo. One. Yep. Two. Make sure the feet are wide. Three. Drop the butt. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, so close. Nine, ten. Woo! Guys, we still have two and a half minutes. Woo! Catch your breath, you hold that forearm plank. We're there, we're there, we got it. Holding it. Yep. That burn, that burn. <sighs> Squeeze everything nice and tight. Zone out. You can always come down to the knees, team. Come into a quick child's pose. Come right back into it. Little down dog. Get right back into that forearm plank. Now, if you really want to challenge yourselves here, if you find, as you keep doing this workout, that you finish really, really early, you can also make your way back up. So after you do the 10 half burpees, you can go back to the 20 shoulder taps, the 30 jumping lunges, and back to the 40 mountain climbers. Woo! We still have 90 seconds. Awesome job. 
shoulders over the elbows. Butt down, squeezing the quads. You got it, this is it. We're approaching that final minute mark. Good. Even if you have to rotate onto your side for a quick second to release some tension here, so keeping plank. your core, yep, engaged. That would be great. <sighs> this is it, we're done. It's like so brand close. new, right? Good, we have 45 seconds. Okay. Yep. So close. This is like overtime. <laughs> yep. There we go, 35 seconds. We got this team, come on. Mind over matter, we finished strong. We finished together, let's go. Last 20 seconds. Whew. You good, Selena? I'm there, baby. <laughs> hold it, come on, come on, last 10 seconds here. Everything you got, you hold. Good. We're done in five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome Woo. job, girl. Oh, man. Nice. You guys should feel amazing. Whew. That was a burnout. <laughs> yes. That wasn't a burnout, I don't know what it is. Right? <laughs> All right, let's definitely cool down, guys. It's very important to stretch after that kind of a workout. Let's just hug our knees into our chest and rock side to side. Massage that lower back, just try to catch your breath. Shouldn't be hard to feel the weight of your body into the floor at this point. Yes. Really just releasing the tension that's left in your body, relaxing your eyelids as you stretch. Let's send the left leg down to the floor, shoot the right foot up towards the ceiling, grab behind the knee or the calf, and let's get some ankle circles both directions. Good. We'll bend the left knee back up, rest the right foot on the left knee, Grab behind the left leg to get that figure four stretch. Ooh, yes hips. Yeah. Remember, you can open up that right leg with your right elbow as you're pulling the left side in. Feel that opposition. Good, we'll release the left leg back down. Right leg goes across the body. Look over that right shoulder. You can use your left hand to apply some light pressure onto that right knee. Good. Today's workout was super challenging. Yes. So don't beat yourself up. You take this all at your own pace, okay? It's not about perfection. We always say that, but it's certainly true. Absolutely. Let's roll on to that left side. Grab the right foot for your quad stretch. Yes, so good. And we'll release, shake it out. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Left leg in now. Ankle circles, both directions. Bending up that right knee, resting the left foot on that right knee. Grabbing behind that right leg. So good. And release that right leg back down. Left leg goes across the body. Look over that left shoulder. You can use that right arm to bring that knee to the floor. Think about the opposite energy you're feeling from that knee to your fingertips and feel that length on your body. Yes. Good, continue rolling onto that right side. We'll grab our left foot here for the quad stretch. Nice, from here we'll just shake it out. We'll roll onto our stomachs here. Pressing the palms into the floor, right under the shoulders. Good, back into this cobra stretch. So we'll drop one part of our pelvis at a time to the floor, get the core. Good. Let's tuck our toes under, we'll push back to down dog. Try to get your heels to the floor and really press your palms deep into the ground. You wanna feel this in your upper back and all down the back of your legs. Good, start to walk the feet in towards the hands. Grab hold of the elbows, the body just hangs heavy. Kind of rocking side to side. It's a great place to really relax the back of your neck. Sometimes we hold our tension there too. To try to look behind you rather than at the floor. Good, let's slowly roll it up in four, three, two, 
and one, good. We'll interlace our fingers behind our back, squeeze our shoulder blades together, hinge at the hips, bend forward. Try to bring those arms up overhead to wherever feels good. Great stretch, oh, it feels so good, so good. And then slowly come back up, we'll shake the arms out. Let's interlace the fingers in front, palms away from us right here, belly button into the spine, separate the shoulder blades. And reach those arms up overhead, biceps by your ears, big stretch, we go side to side. Good. Keeping that tension up above our heads, we're gonna take one big inhale through the nose as we come up onto the tippy toes. Keep it up, reach it up. And then one big exhale through the mouth as we come down. Excellent, excellent job, Good job, guys. ladies. I know you killed it at home. <laughs> it felt so good. So good. Come back tomorrow. Awesome job, guys. We'll see you soon.